Have you ever shot a gun and said bad things, then shot it years later and loved it? Well, I'm embarrassed to say, yep, I have. Today's video we are revisiting the TP9SA by Sentry Arms. Right now is a rare moment. In this moment I'm going to say, please don't go back and watch our old videos on this firearm. You will hear Garrett and I make silly remarks regarding the trigger, lack of safety, or even the sights. When I watch my old video I sometimes think, shut your mouth and take the gun back out you idiot. We all have those embarrassing moments though, right? Fast forward back to present time, I find myself at the range, hoping for no rain, listening to the sound of a 9mm round load into a clean chamber with trees rustling in the wind. Ah, my happy place. I line up the single white dot front sight between the two on the rear. I pull the trigger, not focusing on the feel, but what is about to happen in my hand. Click. Nothing. I look at the gun like I've never seen one before. Realizing the slide isn't seated all the way, I bump it forward with my palm and try again. Wow, I've missed this. Two rounds on the plate, two rounds on the next. Crazy, I think to myself, I'm actually hitting these. When thinking again, focus on the feeling this gun gives you, not on the target. The grip sitting in my palm, gentle but enough grooves to not let it jump out of my hand. The slide release makes my thumb feel secure, but doesn't feel in the way, and it's ready. Oh, it's ready for the next mag. The trigger keeps begging me to pull it again. It's almost like I can hear it even with this ear protection on. A gentle pull with your pointer will set this mini explosion off. Gentle enough to love, but firm enough to know it's there. Kind of like your wife. Looking down the sights, I realize the slide is stuck open. Damn, another 18 out. I hit the conveniently located mag release button, and the empty metal mag falls to the floor's floor. I slap another 18 in, and now that slide release is perfectly located. The slide goes forward and the second I feel it stop, my eyes fix it on the next target. As fast as DJ called says, another one, I'm out. I go back to reload my mags only to realize I spent all the 9mm I bought. I clean up my range and to add to the wind noise, my 5.9 Cummins is also warming up from the cold winter temperatures. On the drive home, I'm thinking about how good the TP9SA is. How easy and effortlessly everything about this firearm is. One place my mind doesn't go is to the decocker. I never used it. Say what you want, but it's not for me. Would I rather have a safety? The answer is, probably not. Could Sentry Arms bring down the cost of the firearm if it had neither? I would be a serious buyer if that was the case. But who am I to complain? This gun can already be caught for sub 350. What an unbelievable price for a firearm that could easily compete with companies like Ruger, Walther, Glock, Smith & Wesson, or even SIG. If I have not swayed you to the dark side, then I would recommend getting your hands on one and just give it a trigger pull. As you can see, this model is heavily used. I mean, if you had one, you would use it too, right?